we are now halfway through a three-week lockdown in Sydney, but given the numbers today, will that be it? We'll find out soon enough. But in the interim, joining me now, Sydney publican and former Liberal MP Craig Laundy. Thanks very much for your time. Three-week lockdown. What's your reaction to the announcement we had and uh, how business is faring amidst all of this? Well, uh, look, I think they had to add at least the, the additional week. I hope that's where it ends, but today's numbers weren't great. So, uh, so who knows how this plays out in terms of Bowers business, um, you know, for us, non-existent other than takeaway bottle shops. Um, so, and, and, you know, not peculiar just to my industry, uh, you know, pubs, clubs, restaurants, cafes, but, uh, but business across the board is hurting, mate. It's, uh, it's, it's been a, you know, a really awful 14, 15 months, to be honest. The story seemed to be that things were coming back to life, cities, in, including that, you know, the big cities were the last to sort of recover, if you like, from COVID, but uh, being forced to stay home meant a lot of Australians were spending. But this coming right now, just as things were sort of building momentum, has it been pretty bad timing? Yeah, it has been. Um, you're right. The, there were different parts of the market were hit in different ways. So, you know, if you take suburban pubs and clubs and restaurants and cafes, they were coming back to life because... People were, you know, we, we effectively had a captive audience. They couldn't travel overseas, um, you know, it, and they were, they, were, they were spending money back in the local community. The CBD, Sydney CBD, I know, is, uh, you know, was shot to pieces and just starting to come back. So it's really sad for, for operators in there. Uh, but also accommodation hotels, for example, that rely on business travel and, and conferences and events, uh, they've, they've been pretty much decimated as well. So... Across our sector, the hospitality sector, we, we were, um, you know, some people were getting back to normal life as we knew it, but there were still some doing it tough. And, you know, this now takes everyone down the, down the girdler again. I know we've spoken so much, and when you're in politics, the attention was always, you know, how the region's doing, how are small towns doing. Um, are we going to need to focus on our big cities as we come out of COVID? Melbourne's been smashed. You mentioned Sydney was just sort of recovering. They're going to become hollowed out, businesses already talking about having fewer people in offices. We need a, a radical rethink and, and some sort of plan, don't we? Yes, I, I think we do. We run the risk. I mean, we don't have any inbound international tourists. We don't have cruise ships pulling up each week in Sydney CBD, for example. Uh, you know, businesses down there at the rocks, uh, you know, would, would be would decimated. So... It is going to be a long time. That conference and events and tourism inbound international, but I don't think we're going to see that as we knew it, uh, say, 2019 levels, till pretty much best-case scenario, I reckon, second half of next year. So if that's the case, we've still got, you know, 12 to 18 months of, of, a, of a tough road ahead. And the mm. Sydney CBD, it's the one I know best, obviously. It's, it's going to take some, uh, some thinking on how we bring it back to life. Maybe some different uses of space, whatever it might be, but some ideas out there. Uh, the personal situation as well, I know we, we talk a lot about, you know, um, how business is doing, how people are doing, lockdown, schools, childcare, but the, the risk of COVID, I mean, you've got staff affected already by this? Yeah, Tom, we've actually... I had two of our hotels that, that were hot spots. So uh, the Crossways of South Stratfield and the locker room at Sydney Olympic Park. Uh, I'm actually coming to you live from, uh, I've just had my third test because uh, my daughter, my youngest daughter was working at the locker room. So she was considered a close contact. So we've been bunkered down with her. Uh, we finished quarantine effectively on Saturday. But, uh, but oh yeah, staff, we, you know, we've had to lay everyone off. Uh, you know, that, that's the stuff that I, I know that Scott, um, the Prime Minister, sorry, has, uh, has made some announcements today. But if the lockout does go at four, five, however many weeks beyond the, the three, I do think that there are going to be a lot of people out there financially, not just business operators, but the staff of those businesses are doing it very, very tough. Yeah, you do sense um, that's the last bit of help until more perhaps is on the table because the government has been shifting on this. We'll keep checking in. We hope it's not going beyond three weeks, but we'll see. Craig Laundy, thanks for your time. Fingers crossed, Tom. Cheers, mate.